Today, in Roman history and antiquity, two men forged ties and friendly relations, but ended with a Vandalic cousin's usurpation. As a result, it led to the eventual reconquest of North Africa by the Eastern Roman Empire. The two men embraced the Chalcedonian faith and opened better relations, but the relationship was more than simple friendship. Additionally, it was a slap on another power, the Ostrogoths. Finally, the change in religious policy aligned with the Eastern Roman Empire are the two Chalcedonian emperors. Find out today, as I go into the relations between the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I and Vandalic King Hilderic. Well, Justinian's uncle, Justin I, reigned from 518 to 527. Hilderic was king from 523 to 530. While Justin could not adequately lead alone, his nephew, Justinian, ruled on his behalf. Meanwhile, Hilderic's reign started in 523, and he was the descendant of the Western Roman Emperor Valentinian III and Vandal King Geyseric. His predecessor, Pharasimun, persecuted Nicene Christians, but under Hilderic, he issued an edict to tolerate them. As a result, it was an open opportunity for Justin to forge good relations. Unlike Hilderic, Pharasimund favored the Ostrogoths due to their Arianism and had Ostrogothic guards. Hilderic fired them and jailed the Ostrogothic king, Theodoric the Great's sister, Amalfrida. During Justinian's reign, he kept good relations with Hilderic and remained allies. He wanted Hilderic to help retake Italy from the Ostrogoths, but in 530, Hilderic's Arian cousin, Gelimer, deposed them. When Gelimer came to power, he put Hilderic's family in prison. Zacharias the Rector wrote about the African refugees in Constantinople, telling Justinian to attack the Vandals. Justinian demanded to release him, but Gelimer refused, which served as the pretext for the Vandalic War. However, the Romans were still at war against the Sasanians and the Nico riots in Constantinople. While it was one of the initial goals, the execution of Hilderic during the conflict allowed for the annexation of Africa into the Eastern Roman Empire. The Romans did not plunder against the locals because they needed support and did not alienate the Romano African population as the majority. After Belisarius's conquest of Vandal Africa, Hilderic's children went to Constantinople and received pensions. Justinian and Hilderic had positive relations because the support of Nicene Christianity was favorable to the Eastern Roman Empire, specifically to Justinian being a Chalcedonian Christian. The two branches believed in the Nicene Creed which made foreign policy from both sides compatible. Also, the move to oppose Arianism hurt the relations with the Ostrogoths, which raised tensions. In addition, the imprisonment of Hilderic soured the relations between the Eastern Roman Empire and the Vandalic Kingdom, which later led to his execution and conquest of North Africa, lasting until 698 during the Muslim conquest of North Africa.